<laughs> so uh, here's the first speech. Wife, Tom, come back to bed. You've got two hours yet. It's only three o'clock. Is that better than say, Tom, come back to bed. You've got two hours yet. It's only three o'clock. The picket doesn't start till five. That sounds better. That sounds better. I disagree. It's how you would speak. You know, well, it's how I would speak. I'd say, what are you doing up? It's only three o'clock. Get yeah. back into bed, will you? You've got two hours yet. It's only three o'clock. The picket doesn't start till five. Uh, that's even longer. But it does, it does get it's essential information yeah. across, you know. But, uh, and it, it's a problem with this. Uh, get, the getting across of essential information is called exposition. Yeah. Now, you've got a problem. You're telling a very complicated story, you know, about a very complicated issue. Uh, and you want your characters to come out with all kinds of information. Well, that's what I was trying, you know, yeah. um, trying to convey, you know, to let people know who were watching us yeah. what it was all about. But that takes away free will from your character. Your character's got to live and breathe. And, and really good <laughs> drama comes about when your character refuses to do or say something. You know, you, you've, you've invented this character. You know all about him. And, uh, and you're <coughs> saying, I'm desperate for this character to say something about the dispute in 89. But what, what your character feels like saying, wants to say, is, uh, I'm dying for the shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, I'm 